watching through our fingers Shut my eyes and count to ten Losing one ear at the other One ear at the other Hi guys, another day Closer to summer Yes it is Alright, so what did we get accomplished today? So today I got accomplished um, First period we did worked on our calligraphy which was of dire importance uh we're trying to get this collaboration thing going on between myself and a, one of the history classes uh rewriting the constitution uh my kid my students are doing the um the calligraphy work uh they the history students are doing the project itself coming up with what to, uh what the new constitution to say however my my students are going to transcribe it so it has that nice uh classic old english calligraphy style to it um and then ceramics class we basically got all of our glazing done so that i could run a glaze fire um so that I can get it going and then have all those pieces uh, finished off. And so then when we come back next week, uh, beginning of the week, then we can pull out those pieces, put them down, analyze them for how well were they glazed, how were the colors at all what they were, what we thought they'd be, and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. And and today in how not to suck at teaching today, I want to cover restrooms. All right. Why why we want to cover restrooms? Restrooms are one of those things where. Every student has to pee at some point, uh, and you need to let them go back, go to the bathroom. Um, now, I do understand completely that there, there's a way that students need to learn how to ask because it's all of a sudden, oh, I gotta, I gotta go now. Um, you definitely don't want to, one of those issues where they're going to wet themselves in class because that's just, that's no one wants that ever. It's just a horrible, horrible thing. So, make sure if they do ask. Um, usually what I do is a, um, that's cool, but just give me a couple minutes so I can get you a pass or I can dismiss you or whatnot. Um, specifically when I was dealing with, dealing with younger grades, that's how I did it. Because if a student asks you again, because sometimes we forget, we all forget, that's why we're human. Um, so if a student asks me a second time, then I'll usually trigger like, oh yeah, you asked a minute ago, let me go ahead and send you. But that also gives it to where it deflects it enough to where if a student just is trying to cut the class, that hinders that behavior. However, but it also sets up a precedence where I'm, again, back to consistency. I'm consistently telling my students that if you if you gotta go, just give me a minute so I can you know, get, finish what I gotta tell you that you have to know. And I try and make that expeditious after that, so 30 seconds, a minute tops. Um, and then if they ask again, then go ahead and send them. Try and keep them in order if I'm if I'm got a, like a line going. Uh, usually, what I've done in the past is I'll have I'll have a notebook that I'll have passed around, and we'll go in order. We'll go down the line because that way it reaffirms that you know there's there's time when you should go, time when you shouldn't go, and it kind of keeps the momentum going of that. Um, there's an order and a precedence and a reason for everything. Uh, I, was, I was talking with my students today, and, and they said that they, they enjoy having my class because I'm one of the few teachers, if not sometimes the only teacher, and I hear this, I, I hate to say I, I hear this all the time, but I do that I have number a number of students who tell me I'm most realistic in the way that I teach. That I, I come in, I tell you, this is what we got to do, and we got to get done, and we move on. And I don't, I don't deal with uh, behaviors. I don't deal with attitudes because it's real cut and dry. It's he said this. This is what he wants done, and we just move on from there. Um, I wish more teachers did that because that would make everybody's life easier. Uh, you know, at certain point, you have to take the the classic school mentality out of the equation and change that for a different mentality altogether. Just absolutely crazy. And you won't don't want to go down that path just because of that, where I'll have a number of teachers who now we will be dealing with attitude in a future uh, in a future post. I'm still writing uh, what I want to kind of cover in that. I definitely know for a fact that it's gonna be over several days. So I don't want to touch on it now just because Everybody's still fresh. It's still early in the, in the year to where I don't think it needs to be covered yet, but you never know. In the next week or two, might have to cover it. All right. So other than that, everything was like was normal. It was a, it was a good day as as far as as far as my workflow goes. Um, I am oh one future project I'm working on for my um, for my ceramics class that people other people might be interested in. If you're coming up with a slab project. Uh, for my ceramic students, I'm having them create holiday houses, and right now I'm going to be doing this over the next, 
couple days in my sketchbook, my sketchbook, is I'm going to do a couple haunted Halloween themed houses because that's what I'm into. I like that kind of thing. And I'm first going to put down the sketches in my sketchbook. After that, I'm going to um, start trying to build them up as the example pieces. But I've already told my students that that's the big project for the next unit. We're going to be working on these holiday houses. Prior to that, we're going to do a couple slab vases so that they can get their application of binding uh, walls together down. And then, uh, and then we're going to move on into the slab houses. So if you guys want a future project, if you guys need to see some examples, um, I will have that in, on the main channel, my TriFire Studios account, as well as TriFire Studios on Instagram. You can always follow that for uh, additional pictures and resources. All right, hope to see you guys online and I'll check you guys next class. See ya.